Today's show is brought to you by Pardon My East Side. Get your Pardon My East Side apparel right now at www.pardonmyeastside.com and use the promo code eBlockRadio to get 25% off. eBlock Radio is now available on the New Orleans Talk Network. Be sure to check them out and the rest of the podcasts that are available at New Orleans Talk Network. Dot com. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern. Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got my man Monk Money in the building. Man, you, know what it is. you know exactly what it is, dog. It's the Wake and Bake Show, man. Holla at your boy, man. E Block Radio is definitely in the building. Morning show, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock a.m., that is. Don't forget, you can always check out our replays on eblockradio.com and now on New Orleans Talk Network.com. All right, that's a long ass website, but that's what it is. New Orleans Talk Network. Dot com, all right? Nolens, Make sure you check them out, dog. Also, today's show, as always, is sponsored by Pardon My East Side. So make sure that you get your Pardon My East Side apparel at www.pardonmyeastside.com. And uh, that's it, dog. And follow us on Instagram and all that shit, dog. So, Real Monk Money. Uh, I don't... I don't know. Did you get that shit together? What's that? Your real Monk money page? Because I don't know. No, no. All right, we got to get that together. Dog. Well, holler at me then. Hood Howard Stern. All right. <laughs> holler at me on Twitter and Instagram, of course. Uh, also, E Block Radio. That's going to be on Instagram, too. All right, so we out here, dog. So it ain't been seven days. It's only been one. So this is weird. Yeah. I'm used to talking about the whole week Weekend, and shit. Right. But uh, what's good with y'all? What's, what's popping? I, I know what today is, though. You want to talk about that first? Yeah. This, Let's talk about that I'm first. I'm going to put my prop blood in my. Your my prop head. blood? That's yeah. a prop. This yeah. A prop. Yeah. prop. <laughs> No problem. It's the Wake and Bake Show. It's the Wake and Bake Show. I want to give a shout out to my baby boy. It's his birthday today. For sure. One of the best things that ever happened to me in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to give a shout out to my G. No happy birthday. He's six today. You know what I'm saying? Six. Six, boy. That, that boy, boy getting old. That boy getting big. He too, old, boy. Man, man, he been big, man, bro. That boy big, boy. <laughs> he he can't even big. pick him up. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, but, you know what I'm saying, happy birthday to him, you know what I mean, I want to give, you know, shout out to my G, you know what I mean, like, one love, dog, like, he the For reason sure. why I do this shit, him and him and the other big nigga. <laughs> the other big nigga. Yeah, he's a big Little big too. monk. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah. sure, man, shout out to Tristan James, man, you know what I'm saying, the luckiest godson on earth, because he got the, you know, the dopest godfather on earth, that do all the shit that godparents supposed to do, that's me, right? All right, so shout out to my man TJ, happy birthday, bro, you know what I'm saying, but uh, what else going on, dog? Nothing else, though. You know what I'm saying? Just getting ready for that, man. They won't let me get off work for my baby birthday. You know what I mean? So, Cause jobs ain't shit. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You we know need them, shit. But jobs, we need jobs em. ain't shit. I need them for now. For right. Now, yeah. Cause for now. Cause yeah. Right now. <laughs> I'm on a mission, baby. I'm about to for get sure. mine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see me. Y'all gonna see sure. me. Y'all gonna see me out here. Y'all see. You gonna I'm see telling you, out you I promise. <laughs> you promise. I promise y'all gonna see me out here in, in chef attire, That's cooking up, good cooking shit. shit. How does it gonna be a prop blunt? You about to light it? It's a prop blunt. <laughs> it's a I ain't prop. Light it. <laughs> yeah, right. I see that lighter. Flame the, it up. It's the wake and bake show. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you already know what it is, dog. But uh, what else going on, dog? It's only been one day, I guess. But oh, shit, I don't shit. know. Too much enough, man. Still Too trying to shit. find me a crib. You know what I mean? I'm out here searching for, sure. for a crib, man. It's hard to find a crib, man. You know, and um, I. F- I don't want to put her out here, bro, but she probably don't watch it. She old as hell. This is realtor oh, the real, the real lady. Man, this realtor lady, man. She old as she hell. She trash. Trash, bro. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean about it and shit, but she like, she like 70 something. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, that means she been doing it for a long she time. Been, that mean, that's what I thought. You know what I mean? Like that's not the case. It. That's not the case, okay. bro. She don't move as quick as we like. <laughs> we saw our house and we wanted to put a fucking down payment on the one when we wanted to get it off the market. Yeah. And she two days later she said, "Oh, somebody took it." Uh, da, da, da. Like why you? Why we had to wait two days later? Why you didn't talk to my man right then and there? You know right. what I'm saying? So she just you know what I'm saying making love you know. So with that in mind, any realtors uh, watching the show right now, Monk Money is in the uh, is in the process of buying a home. Yeah. So yeah. if you're in the Metro Detroit area, man, hit up my man Monk Money because uh, he needs some help. I need some help. <laughs> this lady like she be like you know like I'm about to go see my auntie. 
auntie, you 70. You still got an auntie living? Wow. Y'all must be the First same all, age. That's foul. Y'all must be the same age or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, how you going to I mean, your auntie you? could be like 90. You probably right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, about, about 90. Yeah. That's fucked up, man. Almost the same age. Any real just in Detroit area, man. Hit, hit up my man. Because obviously, Monk Money needs some assistance. Him, 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 please. Right. Him, please. I told you I let my man, dog. Uh, Ron Dre, uh, well, what do you call himself? Uh, Key. Yeah, Key. Keymar, right? So, uh, yeah, holla at my man Ron Dre, Keymar. Uh, what is it? Uh, Brooks Realty, I believe it is. Don't give me the line about the name of the uh, joint, but if anybody watching right now knows Keymar or Ron Dre, whatever you call him these days, because I call that nigga Ron Dre because that's from back in the day, but uh, he like a super duper realtor and shit. This nigga like a. Uh, he one of the top realtors in the city, though. This nigga be all on magazines and shit. Like, oh, he can yeah. probably help you. I'm yeah, for sure. Like, contact could. Yeah, I'm a, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to link y'all up on here. Anybody watching right now actually knows him. Uh, uh, get him to watch the show. And plus, he got the, uh, I told you, he got the food truck and shit. Uh, cilantro. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. y'all can do a whole lot of business. A whole yeah. lot of business. A whole lot of business. Yeah, for real. Anyway, um, let me see. What else happened since then? I got some shit to talk about that happened on the news and shit, though. Oh, you want to get to that shit? Yeah, so there's, there's some old shit, I, uh, apparently, because uh, it's some shit from last year, though. But did you hear about this? The the police on the west side and shit uh, was doing undercover work, trying to be like dope dealers and shit. And then the, the, the I was going to say the real police, the other police raided their shit. Did you see that? No. So this was last year, I guess. I, I thought this was new news. This is old shit, though. But apparently uh, they were setting up. Like, uh, trying to set up shop, like, some undercover shit. I guess the the other precinct didn't know and shit, and they raided the motherfucking police. <laughs> <laughs> so, so shit. Detroit got to be the dumbest police ever. Oh, I, well, I don't know. I, I, I ain't going to say that. Yeah, I ain't going to take that back. That but, was some dumb shit, But though. I'm going to tell you something, though. You ever watch Force 48? They never solve their cases in the day, <laughs> They don't. Never, bro. For real? I stopped watching And all the first show, 48s I see, niggas be telling like hell. Hell yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We singing for a fucking KFC. We got a lot of KFCs in the <laughs> deep. Singing for Popeyes KFC. and churches and everything. And these motherfuckers ain't <laughs> like saying shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we really live by that no slit shit, huh? I mean, for real, because these motherfuckers <laughs> don't never catch their criminal. Damn, that's fucked up. I never even noticed that shit. Because I, I know the, the I couple of ones city, I watch. Bro. Yeah, they get Popeyes on the motherfucking uh, uh, Tahitian tree. Yeah, grape juice, grape juice. <laughs> grape juice. <laughs> What's the fuck type of nigga uh, eat grape juice uh, with, with anyway? Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, all that. Uh, but yeah, I saw that shit. I guess that was like some old news from last November. I'm thinking it's some new shit. They don't want to blast it out there like that, for real, for real. Because yeah. they don't want to say how, you know what I'm saying, like the law enforcement need help, bro. Like, yeah, they do need help, though. They yeah. need help, bro. They need the motherfuckers evaluating their ass. They need motherfuckers. <laughs> Here we go, they evaluate Yeah, they need the evaluation, bro. Yeah. Because shit, these motherfuckers. Don't be having it all, bro. Like, <laughs> and we need some motherfuckers that at least have a little bit of sense. You so said they, they ain't gotta have it all, just a little bit. Just of it. a little bit. You know Man, what I mean? I, I don't know what the fuck to say about that. That's some funny shit, though. But that just goes to show you why I, I think I think that goes to show you why a lot of shit not getting solved because like the the resources obviously uh, not there. I guess I guess that's why we not uh we not able to get crime solved. But then the communication can't be there either. If you got the same. If you got in the same neighborhood, you got two different precincts not knowing that one is doing undercover work and shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't even know, dog. Whatever. It don't make no sense, bro. It don't make no sense at all. And then you shut up shop and they fucking shit and not tell them. Like, that's stupid, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, completely set up shop, though. Like, yeah. they had a trap house, nigga. Oh, man. Right. And they just And they raided and, that and, shit. And didn't warn them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just wanted you to look need, real and you shit. Need, you should have, so the cops can leave you the fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? They never <laughs> right. run past that thing. Stupid. Exactly. Yeah. Man, police, man, come on, man. Oh, what about, uh, what you call it, though? When you said stupid, that just reminded me. Uh, the motherfucking 6 9 nigga and shit. Ah, uh, stupid, man. That Duh. Stupid, so, man. so apparently it's some kind of tax evasion or racketeering or some shit? Man, some shit, bro. Yeah. Well, my thing is, though, he's been warned numerous of times. Yeah. That nigga, you need to start moving a little bit. A little different. different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think this is old shit he got here in Dono. So, I, you know, don't, even if he moved different, that he, shit was going to catch up with him. No, no. He was putting the line like, you stunned. You got your chest out. You the yeah. king of New York. All this shit. This, yeah. this, and that. That nigga's wild. Man, though. come on, bro. If you stay under the radar, bro, you could have been still up under the fucking radar. Right. Ain't you nobody checking out. But that stand, nigga you want. Rah, rah, rah with that nigga. Too much, too much rah, rah, rah. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> It's at some point when it's too much rah rah rah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like dudes need to, you know, think about the shit. Like I know, I know. Like 
your whole little fucking, you know, uh, what, persona. persona what you got to keep up, you know what I'm saying? But, dog, if you moving fucked up, nigga, yeah. you need to stay under the radar. A duh. A <laughs> duh. You moving fucked A up. A duh. Right. You know no, what I'm saying? Like, you need to stay under the radar. Don't even be bragging and boasting and putting your chest out talking about stupid shit. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. I mean, evidently, he was really on some shit, though. Yeah. I know. In fact, Joe warned him. Yeah. Like, everybody warned everybody him. Warned Charlamagne him, warned him. Everybody warned him. Everybody warned him. But he yeah. just moves like, fuck it, I'm going to do well, what shit, I he do. Probably, he better off in jail than he's dead, because I guess they were trying to murk his ass, <laughs> Man, too. he got beef with the whole West Coast. Like, you can't even go to California. He can't even be at the crib. Like, you got to no. be with niggas at home. Yeah. So, yeah. You got beef everywhere, bro. <laughs> right. So, man, I don't stand, buddy, man. Young but, nigga, that shit, young, that bro. nigga whole little life over. If they, give him, if they give him what they trying to give him, like, he might get life in that bitch. No, nah, he don't get no life. But damn, man, you know, you get a lot of years for that tax shit. They don't yeah. fuck around. That shit just like murder, nigga. No, Wesley Snipes was in that phone in a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, that's, that's legal tax up. evasion, though. This is like, uh, this is dope money shit and everything. Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart was only in that phone. Yeah, that inside the train. I don't know how she got out. That, I don't know. My, she, she took a jet up out that bitch, I heard. <laughs> what? <laughs> shut the fuck up. It said, Martha Stewart took flew, a jet up. flew a jet up out that motherfucking <laughs> fan joint. Like, bitch, fuck y'all. Man, shut the fuck up. That bitch probably was doing shows in jail. <laughs> I, I, I ain't mad at Martha. I ain't mad at Martha. But insider trading, though, I ain't gonna lie. This is why I couldn't, I couldn't have those inside details. Cause definitely, I'm gonna do that shit. Hell if I know, yeah. if I know a stock about to drop or some shit, I'm, I'm unloading that bitch. Yeah. I, I know a lot of niggas getting away with it. They just, yeah, 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 yeah all, just these, all these stock markets, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers, Black Wall Street. Well, I mean, Black Wall Street. Oh man, I wish. Yeah, yeah, I wish. Yeah, Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Black Wall Street, yeah, y'all destroyed that shit. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> anyway, fuck that up for us. Right, fucking all that up. Yeah. Um, that's uh, what what else going on in the news? Oh, you see, uh, so the marijuana, obviously, it is legal. December seventh. Uh, right, the who? Is this? Is it December seventh? December seventh. We can walk around this bitch with the. I saw a different. Room. I saw a twenty ninth. So it's the seventh. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Was well, uh, sooner than I thought. Yeah. But, um, yeah, again, though, I just want to let y'all know that the shit is legal, all right? But still. You can't sell it, man. <laughs> you can't be, a, it's, it's just like alcohol, dog. Like, it's, if you get caught with the shit, it's, it's, still a, it's still an issue. Yeah, you can't go to work with the blunt in your mouth. Like, that's just <laughs> right. like going walking into work with a 40. With a 40, you can't do it, dog. <laughs> like, do that it, shit man. doesn't change. Like, you man, can't get on, caught man. drinking the drive. You can't get caught smoking the drive. It's the same shit, dog. You can't get caught smoking on the drive. You can't right. get Right, all that yeah, shit. All yeah, all that shit. So don't don't forget that, man. It is legal, but uh, relax, nigga. Like, relax. And this, and this, you know, they say they're going to buy 2020. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're going to be able to sell it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how that's going to feel with the street dudes, you know what I mean? But you going to be, huh? They said by 2020, you can, like, you can't really sell it. Yeah. But you can smoke whenever you want. Like, I don't know how people Right, because it's going to... Yeah, selling it go be illegal just like it is with alcohol. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. But so the niggas still gonna be selling because niggas still sell alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know. Um, but what else going on? Dog, we seen uh the uh it was a, a article, not an article, but a story on Fox Two and shit about the concealed weapon shit. So now apparently, because, uh, you know, Michigan is an open carry state anyway. Definitely, definitely. So they're trying to get rid of the CPL shit altogether. So that means anybody, like, anybody can just get a pistol and then it's, it's just whatever. Um, I don't know. What you think about that shit, though? Like, I mean, without, a, without a CPL, just just get a pistol. They got them already. <laughs> that was the argument. That was the argument right there. Like, that, that criminals got guns already. already. So what's the, what's the difference? What's the, what's the difference? Yeah. Like, you can't stop them from getting guns, bro. Yeah. These motherfuckers got arsenal. They got probably more guns than... I seen a motherfucker with a grenade launcher. Like, nigga, what the fuck you got a grenade launcher what for? What do you have it for, and where did you get that bitch from? And where the grenades at, nigga? <laughs> like, they, these bitches somewhere close? Because I want to get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Just the launcher, yeah, no grenades. no grenades, bro. And where the fuck are you keeping the grenades And at, why though? you got a grenade launcher, bro? This is true, though. Like, you trying to... What the fuck is this? Fast and Furious Man, or some I shit? I seen so many shits, and I don't think none what? of them motherfuckers was legal. What? What are you gonna do with a grenade? Yeah, launcher? like we gonna you niggas really don't want it with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas don't really don't want it with you. How no, could you imagine? This ain't even funny, dog. But it's like five hundred grenades. Them motherfuckers ain't buying them bitch. You gotta buy them bitches only if necessary. But could you imagine that shit though? A nigga just pull out a grenade. Like, what the fuck would you do? You couldn't do nothing. Try to run about this motherfucker, blow up radius, but <laughs> you gonna get Try smacked. To blow up radius, everything gonna get smashed. Yeah. A fucking grenade launcher. Grenade launch, you niggas bro. need to relax, bro. Like it's all you already out of control with all these ARs and shit because 
that shit is like that's military grade shit. Like they chopping down whole villages with that shit. So you niggas is already out of control, bro. But uh, they got a grenade them. launcher. They got ARs. Where the fuck is they getting grenade launchers though? I don't. Come on, I don't know. And where you even? I guess I'm I'm, I'm ignorant to this shit because I don't even know where you buy a grenade from. Like. I don't know where you get one of them. You can't just, go, I, you I can't just no roll up to Dunham's like, like let, me hey, get a, let me get three grenades. Right. <laughs> I need a, I need a, can I put a down payment on these motherfuckers? Right. Shit. Five dollars. Wow. Can I, I put can... a down payment on the grenade. No, nah, that shit is real silly. You niggas need to relax, though, for real. Um, let me see. What else? It was something else I wanted to talk about. It was that. that it was the, uh, the drug shit. I guess that was it. Damn, I guess we might as well get on into our topic then and shit. Well, let's go then, cuz. Shit. Was, damn, let me make sure. Well, was it something else you want to talk about? No? No, because yeah. I get to talking, man. I'm gonna get You're just going to be rapping. Yeah. Again, man, salute to salute to the little dog, man, Tristan James. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my uh, G. Classic Harlem just checked in. What's happening, baby? What's Thanks up, Thanks for dog? checking us out. Thanks for checking us out for sure. Um, so we about to get into topic, man. So you just you chimed in at a great time. Make sure I ain't got no... Oh, shit, I do got a booger on my nose. <laughs> oh, shit, good look it out. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what we getting ready to say? Oh, shit, Michaela, what up, though? Michaela just checked in. What up, though? Coco J, what up, though? What up, though? With the new hairdo, Coco J. Yeah, I see, I see, you, I see you out there. there. I see you Look at the crispy <laughs> look, look motherfucker. Crispy. All right, so y'all right on time, man. That's what we're talking about today, man. Should a woman ever propose to a man? That's what we want to know. Hit me in the comment box, man. Let me know what y'all think. On IG Live, man, hit me in the comment box, too. Let me know what y'all think, man. Should a woman ever propose to a man? Monk money. <laughs> Should a woman ever get on her knee? Not her knees, but her knee. <laughs> and propose to a grown-ass man. What you say? Hell no. Nah? And if a nigga sit there and watch her do that, you a pussy. And that was going to be my next question. Would that make you feel some kind of way? Yeah, man, like, come on, bro. Like, when, when did, when did, then did women take on the role of men? Like, when, when did Shit, this happen? Shit, recent. Bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, I, I know it's a lot of gay dudes, and you know what I'm saying out here. You know what I mean? I don't like, know what that gotta do with anything. But... I'm, about, I'm about to tell you what it gotta okay. do. These niggas has to be gay because you let your girl get on her knees right in front of you. Yeah. Your whole thing is to get her off her knees, to uplift her, to raise her, to put her on the pedestal. Look Not it. on her fucking knees. Wow, bro. that's classic. I mean, I mean, that's it's what be it a is. Sound bite, you know okay, that, right? okay, okay, whatever, whatever. Right. But I'm just saying, like, you're supposed to uplift your girl, bro. you like, your whole thing is getting with her, y'all getting together, y'all click, and she's supposed to be your world, bro. She's supposed to be on your shoulder. She's supposed to never touch the ground. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's... So you're defeating the whole purpose, what you're saying? Defeating the whole purpose, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, We got comments, bro. Go ahead. But, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, man, people need to um, reevaluate themselves, bro. Like, if the nigga ain't asked you to marry you, then he probably wasn't going to. So what makes you feel like you should go You think around? that... If he probably, was, probably if he was, was, probably still in the future. Be patient. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of you motherfuckers don't have any patience. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess the patience is, ladies, I know y'all out there watching. Uh, Michaela said, no, nah, she wouldn't do that. But they are doing it. So that That's is true. stupid to me, bro. But uh, money say some of y'all just need to be patient. Mm -hmm. Ladies, y'all out there listening, what, what does patience mean to y'all? How many years does patience equal? I guess is the question. Bro, you'll know when you're ready. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll know when you're ready. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you'll feel it in your bones when you're ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so real quick, uh, Coco J had shared this uh, this video from, it was either Facebook or Instagram. And it was about, it was a dude on there saying that. And he was telling women to stop wasting their time on dudes that don't want to marry him or whatever. And the dude was like, uh, he was like a, a man to know, like off rip, you know, if he want to marry you or not or whatever. And if he if he pass up that opportunity, then like you know you need to let him go or whatever. I don't necessarily agree with that because I think that timing is different for everybody. But at the same time, if you start doing, if you get, I don't know, if you jump off emotions off rip, like you just met this person six months ago and then you say, oh, I want to marry you, like you don't really know him no, enough. Enough. I don't, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough thing, man. I, I don't know. But ladies, I want to know what y'all think about that too, man. What what is patience to y'all? Like, what does what? How many years does patience equal? You know what I'm saying? Coco J said, "I'm old school." The Bible says, "He who finds a wife." Now, this is true, but in order to find that wife, 
Um, I mean, she's not a wife at first. No. Right. You know what I'm saying. So I think you you become a you become a a, a partner at, at first, and then you become a, a wife. You know what I'm saying. The Bible so, says a lot of things. <laughs> don't get me started on the Bible. The Bible says a lot of things. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. Don't get me started. Oh on the Bible. shit. Well, but anyway, get started there. But anyway. Uh, when we become pussies though Like yeah. when did these dudes become pussy bro Like it really got me kind of upset And boiling the inside because You a man dog Like I know these days A lot of women are raising men You know what I mean yeah. But still you gotta see what's going on in the world The world is still around you right. You know what I mean Like you you a man bro yeah. You know what I mean And men stand up to pee yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like <laughs> some of y'all. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> you know, stand up to peace. So you know what I mean? Like I, I really don't understand the whole concept of a woman getting down on her knees. You devote your life to him and let him devote his life to you. That's how he devote his life to you. He getting down on one knee and telling you. I, mean, I think realistically. What? I think realistically what? most women <laughs> I think realistically most women are proposing to men anyway. They, uh, you you understand what I'm saying? Though? Yes. I mean because they're bringing the idea anyway. So they, they bringing the so, idea. So then you just doing the actual proposal. They, they didn't already basically said, "Nigga, they, I want to get married." This is what it is. They yeah. setting you up for to get married from the jump street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not the jump street, but the jump, jump street. street. You know what I'm saying? They setting <laughs> right. you up from the jump street. You know what I'm saying? They like, like, look, all right, this dude he took me out a few times. You know, I like his conversation. He made me laugh. He, yeah. he, ha, ha, ha. I can see myself being with him. Yeah. And a woman can know that. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. So she already setting you up. So she doing nice little sweet things. You know what I'm saying? She coming over to your house and watch you <laughs> fold your clothes and shit. She going to set you up yeah. uh, from Just She's Street. She setting you up from Just Street. So her whole point and then her own intentions to... I'm going to get this dude and I'm going to marry him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to make him mad. So she do that. Like, I think that's enough right there. Yeah. That's enough, that's enough right, right there. That's enough right there. All that other shit. You All that relax. other shit, just be patient. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you see what you're doing is going in vain, then go get yeah, the fuck get on. Get the fuck on. Yeah. Get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already setting yourself up. You know what I'm saying? The niggas don't be, and women are more advanced than us. Okay, so yeah, we, we're, we're in agreement on that. Yeah, yeah women are agreeing. more in advance of us. Right. So we got to catch up slowly. Like, y'all <laughs> already got fucking six strides ahead of us. Right. And we the strongest. Yeah. But we still behind you, motherfucker. Y'all like y'all like the white people in a relationship and we the yeah, black people. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Y'all start off with a head start. Yeah, start off with a head start. <laughs> y'all got you know white privilege. So y'all already <laughs> ahead of us, you know what I'm saying? So I mean just be patient, you know what I'm saying? Just sit back and if it don't work out and shit said it going south, cause if the motherfucker do something stupid once, I guarantee on my mama. He gonna do it again. Not necessarily. Shit. Not necessarily. Shit. Not necessarily. Shit. I know. I know. People are creatures of habit, nigga. But creature I, of habit, like but, a but 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 I think people do evolve and they change, like shit. So I I can't say that. I can't agree with that one, Monk Money. I'm, I'm sorry, nigga. I, I usually we on the same page. Well, you ain't got to. She talking about slow as hell. Whatever. We are slow as hell. Yeah, we are a little slow. We are a little yeah, slow. We we, are, we ain't slow as hell. What the fuck right. she talking about? But we slow. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I didn't like about the the video clip though about uh, the dude that was talking about the relationships and shit. I I think that women do this too. I don't I don't know if men do this as much, but I think that I don't want to devalue marriage and shit. But I don't think that marriage should be your should be your standard in a relationship because you can rush out to get married because you want to be with this person, but everything else fucked up. So mm -hmm. what difference do that fucking make? Like, so you think that everything good because we signed this piece of paper? Like, I, I don't know. I a lot of people, a lot of women anyway, think that that trumps everything. So your your whole little shit fucked up. The finances fucked up. Y'all y'all not communicating and shit. Uh, nigga, he got outside kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't yours. But we married. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck do that mean? Like, at the end of the day, I know marriage is is I guess the the end result is what you're looking for. But that shouldn't trump everything else in the fucking relationship. And a lot of women think that it does. Mm -hmm. Like, your relationship ain't shit. And then you just want to, hey, we go get married. Like, and then what? Like, what the fuck? The other shit ain't, ain't going to change, though. It's, like, it's, it's so many stories of that shit, bro. Like, yeah. like, like the whole keeping nigga baby is the same shit. The same thing, The yeah. same fucking thing. Like, you think just because... You want to get married. You want to have mm -hmm. this fucking thing. And he's still doing this thing. Mm -hmm. He going out there and fuck. 
Motherfucker, he don't want to get married to you. He want to do his thing. <laughs> he ain't want to do his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hold him up for doing his thing. So it's a little bit of resentment against you now because you doing, <laughs> you hold me up from doing my damn thing. Yeah. And you all over me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that shit just create more friction in the shit. I think so. Y'all get more get married. You put more shit on your more shit on your plate. Yeah. You already got worried about if this nigga going around the corner to see Gina. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gina. Now you worry about oh now he going over there with a ring on his finger. So it really don't fucking matter. <laughs> That's fucked up, that dog. It really don't matter, man. I mean, what if a woman did know who you want? Fuck, I'll be mad as hell. You be mad? I'll be mad. Like, get, get your ass get up. Get your motherfucking ass up in front of all these motherfuckers. Right. I'll be running out that bitch like somebody shooting. Like, get your ass, <laughs> your ass out. Get your ass out of here. I'm going to tell you what I think the uh, the issue would be, though, with that is that it'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of two things. It'll either be a whole lot of fucked up marriages or it'll be a whole bunch of fucked up women. So for this reason here, it's because a lot of dudes they they with their girl or whatever they woman, and um, if a woman did if they if they did go through that whole process where the woman proposed to them and shit, a lot of them either go be like hell no, nah, so it's gonna damage the woman forever and shit, or they gonna be like all right, but they didn't really want to get married, so now you in a marriage that you didn't even want to be in, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause forced. I'm going to tell you the truth. Women don't have that problem. Women tell motherfuckers no all the time. All the time. I mean, being a dog-ass relationship, like, shit, let's get married, baby. Like, no. Like, what the fuck? I and, wish I had... And didn't expect you to stay with him, though. I wish I had that kind of courage in the first marriage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted... I, I didn't... You say no? I wanted to say no. Oh, my God. You can't say that shit. Then my mom on my head. No, are you serious right She now? was on my head. They were like, God... I'm looking at it. Damn, 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 like, damn, I wish I okay. had the courage. I'll buy the ring. Like, so, dumbass nigga, bro. Wow. So you know what I'm saying, then? Yeah, I know exactly. Because you don't want to say no. It is it's a lot of pressure. I think it's I think it's more a lot of women probably not gonna agree with this. But uh Miriam, what up though? Miriam just checked in. What's up? Uh, man? over here on IG Live. We're talking about uh should a woman propose to a man. So hit me in the comment box if you wanna comment on that. But um yeah, I think that uh a lot of a lot of dudes, I think it's more pressure on a dude than it is a woman. I think in, in that in that situation. Mm -hmm. So like a woman, a, a a real quick. This is just like she I hate to know. I hate to make this uh, analogy and shit, but it, it's just like a woman when she having a baby though. It's really it's really her decision at the end of the day. Definitely. Like so, the pressure really be on the dude and shit. Yeah. So this is the same thing with with marriage. Just like if a, if a woman say she want to get married or or she propose to you or whatever, and you say no, nah, it's fucked up. You got a lot of pressure. Yeah. You got pressure from her. You got pressure from her family, from your family. Mm -hmm. Like hey, nigga, you need to go ahead and get married. You know yeah, all that shit. Yeah, all that shit. But dog, you propose to a woman and somebody think that that y'all ain't right for each other. They don't give a fuck. Like girl, you ain't got to do that. Don't don't do that if you ain't ready. Right, right, but right. but if a nigga say that, not being ready for marriage, man, what? Yeah, they don't it. right. They hate like a motherfucker. Yeah, oh, you ain't no man and all that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like yeah, that's right, Miriam. She said big pressure. It is. It's big it's pressure. Big pressure, yeah. Like and the and the thing is though is that, I mean, a lot of niggas, man. Once you get to a certain age, you. You want you want a family. You want to do all that mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying. But at the same time, I think it probably is a, a pride thing. You want to do shit on your own time. That's Unfortunately, that's that's how it is, and that's how a lot of relationships get man, fucked we up. We slow as man. Yeah, we slow. Yeah, we we slow as fuck. We slow. But but that's okay. And y'all know that already, so it ain't no new shit. Right. But at the same time, ladies, though, I know y'all still out there watching. I still haven't gotten an answer yet. Um, Mary, I'm I'm, I'm gonna ask you too since you are on IG. Um, I want to know, man, what. How many years does patience equal, though? Because I know Monk Money earlier said that ladies got to be patient out here when it's talking about getting married and getting proposed to and all that stuff. So, like, what amount of years does patience actually equal out to? Like, what's too long? Like, when when do you throw in the towel and shit? Or as a dude, though, what if... Could you stay with a woman, though, if you proposed to her and she said no? Could you stay with her? That's a rough one, right? That's a rough one. That's yeah. a tough one. That's a tough one. But because I think that it take a lot of us to get to that point. I don't think I could because I've been on the whole thing like, what are we doing? <laughs> now you gonna sound like a woman? Yeah, like what, what are we, we doing? What are here? we doing? <laughs> like where are we? Where is this going? Like what right. the fuck? Like I thought this. Was <laughs> what the are we whole, doing this for? This was the whole point of us, you know, dating and courting. You know what I'm saying? What? Coco J said six years. <laughs> really? <laughs> whatever, nigga. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, 
Right. Shots fired. The shots fired. Pa pow. Right. It's all right. Five, pow, and, pow. five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love, though, baby. Good haircut, though. Good yeah, haircut. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. cute. Crispy as fuck. Crispy as fuck. <laughs> hey, but like, like I was saying though, man, like we slow, bro. Like we slow. Like we don't. And pressure bust pipe. You can lose out on a real good man if you pressure them. You know, pressure and pressure. Pressure bust pipes, dog. It does. You motherfucker put so much pressure on the motherfucker. He either gonna fold into what you saying. A flea. It's like the fight fl- a flea. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> fight or flight. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I feel you. Fight or flight, cause yeah. you motherfucker, cause. Either I'm going to stick it out with this motherfucker and just say, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> like my dumb ass. And then. That's fucked up, though. You said <laughs> you said you wish you had the courage the first time. Courage the first time. Like, nigga, no, I don't want to do I this. I don't no. do this. I'm too young. <laughs> what Hell no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> anyway, but the, the, let me see. Uh, Mary said, I hate when someone give me pressure. Yeah, I, I think, I think women probably. I don't know. You think as much as us? I don't know. I think dudes hate it worse, though. What's that? Pressure. Yes. I think we hate it worse. We fall so much under pressure. Yeah. You women are cool, cool, and calm, and collective. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We in a motherfucker. Like, 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 like the whole cheat <laughs> thing. Right. She could be cheating right up on your nose, and she won't even change her facial expression. <laughs> she asked you some, some shit like, where your phone at? Let me see your phone. The, I just saw some shit on Facebook. This shit was so funny, bro. <laughs> She, he was on the phone. They was watching TV. He was on the phone doing something. Yeah. And she was like, let me see your motherfucking phone. And she went to reach for it. He dropped it in the cup of water. Dog. <laughs> he, dropped, he dropped his phone in the cup of water. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped his phone in the cup of water, bro. And that shit is crazy. <laughs> hey, no, that's bro. real life, dog. That's real he life, dog. that bitch in the water. He gonna, gonna sacrifice that shit. And just the face he gave her, like, damn, I'm, like, God, I'm fucked up. You right. know what I'm saying? And yeah. a woman can be so motherfucking calm, cool, collect, do that same fucking predicament, bro. Right. Man. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers like. Because they sneaky like cats, yeah, man. Yeah, I was yeah, just for about sure. to say finicky motherfuckers, Right, man. finicky ass motherfuckers, right? But um, dog, this is this is all off the subject, though, but you was talking about phones, man. Do, do you realize, though, and I think Chris Rock said this shit, too. I, I believe it was Chris Rock. I can't remember. But, dog, do you realize how much you communicate with your signif- your significant other these days? Like, back in the day, motherfucker go to work, and you don't talk to your wife, your girlfriend, and nothing, like, all day. Like, now, it's like a tether. You talk to a motherfucker 19 times a day, right? And then it's like, you get, you don't even get a chance to miss their ass for real, right? Yeah. I mean, so you you figure that a, a person in, or, you know, a couple in, in our day and age, dog, our communication has been about 20 years of what a one year relationship would be. I mean a one year relationship of what a twenty year relationship would have been back in the day. We've talked that much though. Yeah. Like and I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, not I mean, I don't know, some some relationship could because at the beginning, a few of mine we talked a lot over the phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We talked a lot over the phone, like being young, can't go see the motherfucker this, yeah. this, this, this. And then now Well that's different. Yeah. And now at some point it's like, What's up? How was your day? Good day, good day, goodbye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Right, you know that's what I'm it. Saying? Like, I mean, back a- in the day, it wasn't no communication, though. When you left for work, that was it. Yeah. Until you got home until that got night. Until you got to and a then, phone. You, then you get to an update, like, like, oh, shit, so what happened today? Like, yeah. little Craig in jail. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't no shit. We didn't have no cell phones then. Right, that's what I'm saying. No yeah, cell phones yeah. then. Like, shit. You ain't you wasn't calling from work like so you couldn't get off the line and go because niggas, oh, were... niggas had pay phones at the job. They yeah, was called. Yeah, they right, was called. Call, they was going call to check, check it in. in. Especially, Everything good. Especially, especially Friday, the women would make sure they call their ass on Friday. <laughs> call me, motherfucker. Let right. me know the check deposit did dick. <laughs> They call her every day and shit because yeah, the baby yeah. looking like the milkman and shit. Right, right. <laughs> like, girl, what you doing? You at Man, home, say, right? Yeah, phones are the problem. Yeah, Phone, I, Phones aren't necessarily a problem. I think it's, uh, it's a lot of people's insecurities come out because of the phones. It's like, I don't know. To me, it's like it's, it's your phone. So whatever you got going on is whatever you got going on. It's like because whether I, whether I check your phone or go through all that shit, it's not going to stop you from doing what you're doing. Shit, I mean, that. Especially women. I, I guess maybe that's just for us. Because women, it don't really matter if you're checking and shit. Because they so good at the shit. It don't even it doesn't matter. matter. It right, doesn't it don't even matter. matter. They probably not even making phone calls. It's they not. probably they probably motherfucking, uh, what you call that shit, telekinesis with a nigga and shit. Like, I don't <laughs> even know what they be doing. They just be, they hey. be out here doing whatever the fuck. And then you find out 
years later, like, motherfucker, what? Like, what? Right, exactly, dog. For real, for real. See, dudes just get caught, like, just doing dumb shit. Women, it be after the fact. After relationship all over and shit, you be like, this motherfucker. This bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> take that motherfucker all the way to the casket. <laughs> right, to the casket. Friends and everybody yeah, else everybody know that know. shit. Everybody with your dumb ass. And, and he, in a, he at the front one in the back. Right, that nigga in the back of the funeral. Back like, in the funeral, yeah. Y'all both over there crying over the same bitch. <laughs> that's fucked up, but that's real shit. That's just real shit, though. Yo, hit me in the comment box, though, if you got a comment. We want to know two things, man. Should a woman ever propose to a man? And then secondly, we want to know how long would you actually wait as a woman to be proposed to? Because I think maybe maybe that's why a lot of women are proposing to dudes because they tired of waiting, I guess. Like, I'm not even sure. Like, ladies, tell me what y'all think about that. I think I've been married twice. Yeah. And both of them, I was pressured. <laughs> he was pressured. Oh, uh, yeah. The second one, I wanted to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But still, I was fucking pressured. Yeah. I had to move on on her fucking time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, God damn. But the difference is you wanted to, though. But I wanted to. Okay, so saying? that's different. That's different. But yeah, still, <laughs> still, I was pressured. The it was first time, you're like, no, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I, mama, mama, stop. Shut mama. All right. right. Okay. Right. I'll buy the ring. I know mama now looking like, oh, shit, sorry, son. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, son. It's okay, though. Yeah, it's all good. We got a big little monk out I of it. got a beautiful son out <laughs> of it. Right. So. That's what's up. No, this thing is it. He wish he had the courage, though. The courage. That's too funny. I mean, I'm serious. Life would have been different and shit. Totally different, bro. <laughs> I think I'll be in a whole different realm right now. No, man. really? Yeah. Really, though? Come on, dog. Different realm, nigga. A whole different realm. Realm, nigga. <laughs> he real talk, for real. I'll be over there with Harry Potter and them and shit. Right. A wizard. Man, say no pressure, please. Like, you know what? It ain't many women out there like that. No, no, <laughs> It can't no, be, no. Because no. women Cause apply women pressure, are, boy. Hell yeah, they, they apply, apply pressure. They like apply pressure like a motherfucker. Like vice grips, nigga. Like, <laughs> Like my script. For real. Hell no. Nah. that pressure, bro. You be like, oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. She's squeezing your ass out of breath. Like, ah, <laughs> okay. All right, right. Okay. All right. All right. Here. Shit. Now, I know a lot of women, Uh, you know, not a lot of women, because we've done this topic before, and a lot of women say that, you know, hell no, nah, they would never do it and shit. But I guess my question is the, the times have changed and shit, though. So what would you do, like, if, if you had a daughter? And she and she wanted to propose to a motherfucker. Like, do you tell your daughter like, no, you can't do that shit? Or I mean, the times is completely different. Hell I mean, yeah, they, you they, they into that type of Man, shit though. Hell yeah, I'm telling my daughter, no. What the fuck is you doing? Yeah. Like hell no, if that nigga don't want you, then fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. You, you ain't gotta do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't supposed to do this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so I said, he's supposed, supposed to. to what? You supposed to uplift. He's supposed to uplift you. Your need when he say. He fucking with you and y'all boyfriend and girlfriend. Your niece don't never supposed to hit the fucking ground, baby. Yeah. Never. I, I, I don't know, though. Unless you looking for your motherfucking house shoes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time. Yes. Unless you looking for your house shoes. Or give a nigga some fellatio. Right. <laughs> wow. That's the you early morning that? term. Fellatio. Fellatio. That's the only time. On the late night show, you like, give a nigga some head. Right, right. We got to say fellatio in <laughs> right. the morning. No, nah, no. Nah, so, so you say no? Nah, you wouldn't, even though the time changed. No, nah, man, hell no. Nah. My uh, baby ain't baby girl. You ain't better get your ass. You do that shit. I ain't coming to the. Who gonna give you away? Yeah. His mama, motherfucker. Damn, for real? So yeah, the, come on, more money. What? More money. So what? you mean to tell me right now, if your daughter, if you had a daughter and she proposed to the dude, you wouldn't go to the wedding? I wouldn't give her away. Seriously, it, it was a point. He, you asked him, so you gonna ruin your whole. His mama father. supposed. To, his mama supposed to give him away, cause you fucking reversing the whole fucking. So you gonna, you gonna ruin your whole father daughter relationship over the fact that she want to propose to the dude? Come on, yes, dog. because I raised you different. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing. Yes. I ain't giving you away. I'll be in there. Yo, that's ill, man. I'm not gonna miss your day. Yeah. But you're not giving her away for what? <laughs> It's still your daughter, nigga. She supposed, he's supposed to walk down the aisle then. Like he she's supposed to be standing up there waiting for him. Wait for him. And she do everything and he's supposed to motherfucker. <laughs> sitting there crying, coming to your ass. Yeah. Yo, I Mar love you, baby. Yo, Miriam's still checking us out, dog. What you think about that, dog? My man Monk Money say that if his daughter had proposed to a dude that he would not give her away at the wedding, dog. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, angry principal, what up though? He just checked in. He said he he would be there giving her away and crying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he talking that shit. Yeah, no, I won't. He talking that shit. He be right there, walk, walking her down, crying yeah, and shit. Uh, that's gonna be him and his mama. You might as well play reverse the whole role if she got to get yo, down on her knees. Yo, that's mad interesting though. Yeah, dog. So, hey, look, if you if you checking us out right now, Facebook Live or on Instagram Live, dog, I want to know what y'all think about that. If a woman does propose to a man. Does everything need to be in reverse? Like, do she need to be standing at the altar waiting on him to walk down? Yeah. This shit? Yo, that... Yeah, fuck that. That's how it's yeah, supposed fuck to get. that. Because that, that ain't how it's supposed to go. See, that, now that's that's hella weird. Uh, yeah, that's hella All weird. All of the, the fucking whole woman so, you know that so needs to be is hella weird. put a dress on to and shit? He might as well. See, we getting all out of context. No, now. I'm just saying that. He might as well wear. We getting, we getting all out of hand right now. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. serious. She might as well wear the tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> shit. No, that's fucked up. Hit us in the way. comment box, man. We got about 10 minutes left, man. Hit us and let me know what you think, dog. Should a woman ever propose to a man? And we got three questions on deck left. All right, should a woman ever propose to a man? That's the initial question. The second one is, I think that a lot of women propose to men because they tired of waiting. So we want to know what's too long to wait to uh, for a dude to propose to you. Now, I want to know... <laughs> If a woman does propose to a man, should should he be walking down the aisle like the bride? Like a, bit, like, like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's ill. <laughs> because you let her no, do Coco that shit. Coco J said, yeah. What the fuck? Hold mm -hmm. on. Which one she said, yeah, too? That, that he, the role should be fucking change. <laughs> like, shit. I wish a motherfucker would. Uh, that's the role should change. What? You, you be sitting up there with your motherfucking flowers in your hand. Yeah. Watching your girl come up there. Watch it. Now she got to do that shit. Stand at the <laughs> what? My Man, you motherfuckers is crazy. I'm I, you. you don't believe that? I believe that they gonna start doing some shit like that they too. I wouldn't already not, did probably it. already doing. Well, yeah. Dog, no, I would feel so much like a bitch, bro. So the the wind, the for real wind song. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, she got you coming down in the tux? <laughs> right. You coming down in the tux with a garter belt up. <laughs> Oh, she got to take it off at the reception. Oh, God, man. Go <laughs> <laughs> it's too early in the morning for this shit, dog. Nah. Nigga, wear a guard belt. Are you fucking serious right yeah, now? Yeah, nigga, fuck that. No, nah, somebody hit me in the comment box. Let me know. Do y'all think this shit is for real, dog? Coco J said, yeah. I think she re responded to what you just said. I no, for real, for real. So you gonna have the role reversal and shit. Yeah, my real reverse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you, you reversing the role anyway when when she got down on her knee, bro. True that. True so that. You, it, all everything should be changed. Everything should be changed. Everything should be changed. Oh shit, Sonya just checked in. What up though? What up though, Sonya? Uh, how did the finals go, man? Good luck with them finals. How did they go? Wasn't that last week? Yeah. Or last week? That was yesterday, yesterday. Day before yesterday, yeah. Hope them finals went good for you. Oh, you just now checking in though. We wanna know, man, should a woman Ever propose to a man? We got three questions on deck, though. And we got 10 minutes left. Should a woman ever propose to a man? That's the main topic. Then I said <laughs> that a lot of women propose to men because they're tired of waiting. So how long is it too long to wait? And now we want to know if a woman does propose to a dude, should the roles be reversed? Yes. So should she be standing at the altar while he walked down? Should, she have a, <laughs> should you have a brighter shower? <laughs> Hey, hey. Oh, my shit? God. What's the, what's the shit that they call the woman, you know, not the bachelor party, but the... Bachelorette. Bachelorette party. Bachelorette party. Yeah, bachelorette party. Duh, so that make you a bachelorette. Yeah. I think it's... You supposed to wear the little satchel thing they wear. You know, oh, God. Thing. This thing out of control. This I'm, thing out of control. I'm telling you, Rose got to be reversed. Rose got to be reversed. It got to, man. Yeah. You trying to reverse shit anyway. You trying to change it anyway. You might yeah. wait. You don't go halfway. Do it all the way. Do it all the way. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Don't go ahead. He's fucking out of control. Shit all the way. I'm telling you, bro. Because motherfuckers, that shit just. <laughs> oh, shit. She said she in class right now taking finals, but she got the earbuds in. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking out, though. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. No, but I, don't, I think that's some funny shit, though. Like, I, that's something I never even thought about, though. Like, since that role is reversed, shit, all of it be reversed. That's some shit of, I never I even thought all about. All of it should be reversed, bro. That's fucked up. I, that definitely put a different spin on it. But how you feel as a man, bro? Yeah. Walking down the aisle. I, would, I wouldn't want to... 
I, I wouldn't want to be in that position, period, though. I think that... You shouldn't be want to be in a position to watch your, your, your lady... Propose to propose you. Propose to you. Yeah, I, I think that's some weird shit. I... I I said I think I've said it before jokingly and shit, but I, I wouldn't want no shit like that. Damn. Because at the end of the day, man, I think that that puts you in a it kind of puts you in a, a bad position. Because I think that if a woman feel if a woman feel like she can propose to you, then she probably feel like she's the dominant one in the relationship, mm -hmm. which is okay. Like I understand, like some women have you know control issues, but I, at the end of the day, even if you are the dominant one in a relationship, at some point you gotta at least let this man attempt to be a man, yeah. whether you think he won or not, and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta at least yeah. let him attempt. And I saw some shit with Kiki Wyatt. Yeah, and she just she boy, she don't let nigga go nowhere, bro. She be buddy here. They got about yeah. thirty kids though. Yeah, but she don't let buddy do nothing. But look, that's how uh, <laughs> she said make him carry them babies too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. What was, it, what was I going to say? No, that's how Mary J was, though. Remember, Mary J was super extra tough on her dude, and then he was out here fucking anyway. See, so what was the point of all that shit? Because she was pushing him that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All this, all the, you know, I, you telling me I'm doing this, You, I did this, like, but I was here with you. What are yeah. you talking about? She was all on TV, like, hell no, he can't have no female friends, because I'm, like, she was just going hard. And then next thing you know and shit, she making an album because this nigga been cheating on her and shit. Yeah. It's fucked up, though. Yeah, fucked up. But I think that come from all that applying pressure, man. And Nico Entertainment just checked in. What up, though? What up, though? Shout out to my man Coke in the building and shit. was good? We out here trying to get these checks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm but, dog. Catch up, mustard. Roll reversal, though. Yeah. Dog, we should do a skit on that shit, dog. Yeah, we should. That would be hilarious. Be hilarious. We should do a skit on that shit, yes, dog. Definitely Matter of fact, we're going to get a. Uh, and Nico Entertainment to shoot our shit. Yeah. We should put dope. a skit together for that, man. Straight role reversal for for women who out here want to propose to a dude and shit. We're going to do the complete role reversal. <laughs> so she's going to be at the altar and shit, dude. Going to be walking down the aisle and shit. Crying That's crazy. With his mama. Oh, he said crying. <laughs> with his mama. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's got to be some of the motherfucking most uh, emasculating shit, dog. Oh, I think, yeah, I, I think I really would. I, I really would feel some kind of I way to be proposed to. Face, bro. Like I think at the end of the day, like it's got it's got to make you feel some kind of way. I've said it before, jokingly and shit, because I thought maybe that was like some pimp shit to, to have a woman propose to, you, but it really ain't though. It's kind of like it's some simp shit. It's some simp shit. Yeah. It's, it's kind of whack though. Yeah, whack it's kind of whack. Fuck, bro. <laughs> like pimp or no pimp, nigga, yeah. you're supposed to be a motherfucking man. Bro. Yeah, I mean she didn't went. That means she didn't went through the whole little thing about trying to surprise you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Talking to your family. People around. Right, like, people around like, I'm going to propose to him today, y'all. Well, my family will know. Like, you, you, you ain't about to do that. That's stupid. Duh, that's, that's something I completely neglected to say and shit, though. Right. Yeah. Then nobody tell her, like, hey, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Who the no, fuck who the encouraged her? Yeah. Like, yeah, do that shit. Yeah. Like Unless who? you just didn't like that dude and shit. A bunch of idiots. Right. <laughs> you should have told her, like, look, don't do that shit. Like, if that nigga don't want to marry you, then just... Be patient, like you said. So or yeah, I keep it moving. That. I already said that to you. I was just saying, yeah, get a tuxedo and shit. <laughs> oh, shit, excuse me. Dude. Yeah, get a motherfucking tuxedo. Dude out here in a dress and shit. <laughs> right, said she got to ask his dad for permission. <laughs> and then that's what I'm saying. Like, man, All that shit got to be reversed. You ask my dad, man. My dad be tripping. Yeah. My dad, I know my dad. Everybody know my dad, bro. You know that nigga be tripping. And he will flip the fuck out. <laughs> flip out. No, for sure. So, and his family got to pay for it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Coke say uh, it is impossible to have a meaningful relationship when it clear when it when clear roles and boundaries haven't been set. That's true too, though. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I think that that's one of them things. And I'm I'm taking I'm taking for granted that it is Coke though. I forgot it's more than just him on on and Nico. Yeah. So that could be my man Chuck too. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Most women hit around in marriage. That's true. And that's the thing. Like most women, like not. Not physically proposing, they already proposed the idea Hell anyway. Yeah. So yeah, you don't need to do that that how public display. Niggas, how many niggas is her? So when we get married, right? I mean, so for, no. How propose? many? How many niggas? How many niggas proposed without being in that position though? Like I don't even think I know any who was just like fuck that. I'm gonna marry her, and she never mentioned it though. Yeah. I don't. I don't even think that worked. Like do it. Uh, I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen this shit, no. <laughs> Right. I don't know nobody. Else. Hell no. At some point, it's because uh, he was encouraged. He was encouraged to marry her. Pressure. <laughs> right. Pressure. <laughs> encouraged. You know, whatever words you want to use. Now. I don't know. 
Uh, we got about five more minutes, man. Hit me in the comment box if you got a comment. Uh, but we going to wrap it up because it's the morning wake and bake show. And then in order to bake. make it a wake and bake show, you got to wake and bake. So we're going to get to that. But uh, we got five minutes. You can hit me in the comment box and let me know, should a woman ever propose to a man? And ladies, if you did propose to a man, do you expect the roles to be reversed? Like, you know what? That's going to always come up, though. Yeah. Not even just at the wedding, but just in life. So every time you try to man up on her, she, she go she go re remind you that she the man in relationship. Yeah. <laughs> right. But like, I understand how y'all been in a relationship all this time. Like you've been in a relationship, and you know, why would you get on your knee in front of me? Yeah, for sure. Like, come on, baby girl. Like you got to be what the fuck. Like that shit would irritate my soul, and I bet you, I bet you, if it was okay, a lot of women probably would do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You probably right. And a lot of women probably would do it instead of just pressuring the shit out of you. you know right. What I'm saying? Like nigga, fuck this, we getting married. He say women are the planners, so they already have the whole scenario laid out. Yeah, I from birth. You. Yeah, I from you. birth. I told you from like not even from birth, but once she <laughs> see you and she like your swag and like your whole conversation, she already kid, got that shit mapped out. She got that shit mapped out two weeks into a relationship, two bro. Two weeks, you tripping? Come on, bro. <laughs> two oh weeks. shit! Hey, look, we got we gonna read some of your shit, then we gonna wrap it up because I think we go we gonna hear that on her comment uh, before ours anyway. But Sony said, "Ladies, y'all need to chill with the thirst, be his best friend, and make him feel like his life would crumble without you." Then he'll put that ring out. For sure. Damn. For right, sure. That's, that's, so what's you, yeah, that's, that's what's up. That's how you play it, That's how you play it, though. That's how you play it. You keep, you keep being my best friend. And yeah. Every time I come in, I'm the snacks I like is already out. <laughs> and he's hitting the snacks. <laughs> the snack, that shit, the little shit count. <laughs> Y'all want to buy cars snack. and shit and all that fucking shit. Fuck buying that shit. Make sure my snacks is out. You know what I'm saying? My house shoes. You know, I got a nice robe. The things I love. The things I love. <laughs> Baby, I bought you some new drawers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Throw these holy bitches in the garbage. No, you know, you know, old, you know niggas old when you excited about new drawers. Draws, hell yeah. I bought you a pack of socks. Hell yeah. <laughs> niggas have a pack of socks. So my buddy, man, what you say, dog? Should a woman ever propose to a man? Fuck no. Fuck no. No, you're supposed to uplift your girl. Yeah, you know for sure. Like, like, once she became your girl, her knees supposed to never hit the ground unless <laughs> she's giving you fellatio <laughs> or she's looking for a motherfucking house shoe. That's the only time <laughs> her knees supposed to touch the ground. Or clean it under uh, the Or clean, clean it, it under, under the, the couch. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> or the goddamn cleaning them up on what that table that's so the, the night the table right for the couch. The oh the cocktail table. Cocktail yeah, table. Gotcha. You clean that motherfucker. That's looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time you're supposed to hit the knees, bro. So she get on her knees, bro, that make you look like a bitch. Simple as that. So simple as that, bro. Like if you let your wife or your girl propose to you, yeah. you a bitch, son. Like if you don't get <laughs> mad like right there. If you don't get mad right there, bro. And snatch her ass up and, like, try to not shake her too much because that's, like, the message of the violence. But, like, <laughs> don't shake her like a pit bull. Shake her like a poodle. Like, you know, a poodle. Like, you doing Duh, bad. Success, domestic you know violence. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the next wow. violence you shake her. But she right. needs to know that shit ain't cool, bro. Yeah. That shit ain't cool. You're supposed to uplift your girl, bro. She's supposed to be your queen. Pedestal, nigga, not me. Nigga. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel that, dog. And I, I completely agree. Like like I said, I, I've said before, like in joking, that uh that I would want a woman to propose to me. I, I really don't, though. Like in real life, man, that shit, that shit ain't cool because, like, even if you, let's say that you got a son before you get married, I don't I don't want my son to think that that's the, the order of things. Because, uh, unfortunately, that's the way that, that the society is going now. It's going where the roles are so mixed because everybody's trying to be gender neutral and shit is like at some point though there does have to be some defined roles yeah. even in marriage in relationships all of that shit and i know it may sound uh what, what's the word uh chauvinistic or something but I, I think at some point uh the the male role should be defined as something mm -hmm. like I, I don't know i don't know how many women can keep saying that these, these dudes don't know how to be real men or whatever but then you do shit like propose to them and then expect them to be real men mm -hmm. like i don't get it yeah, so yeah. let these roles be what they are man and, and in real life 
if you feel the need to propose, man, hopefully you got some friends or some family in your corner that let you know that that shit ain't cool, man. For either one of y'all. No. no for either one of y'all. No. But uh, on that note, dog, we up out of here. Dog. I want to thank everybody for checking us out today. Appreciate everybody it. check us out on eBlock Radio on uh, Instagram Live, all that good shit, man. Yeah. Don't forget, dog, we are sponsored by Pardon My East Side. So make sure you go to PardonMyEastSide.com. Get you a apparel, bag. Get you, get you a, a apparel, get you a hat, a hoodie, all that good stuff, man. But uh, New Orleans Talk Network. Knowledge. Don't forget, we down there in New Orleans too. You know, Knowledge. We gotta take Stream a visit alive. down in Knowledge. We, we do gotta get down there. Yeah. But uh, to the next time, man, which is Friday at 10 a.m. because we on three times a week: Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 11. It's E Block Radio live on your dial, man. Live from the 48205 The Wake and Bake Show, man. It's Rizzo. your boy, the Hood Howard Sir and Q Lewis. Got my man Monk Money. Wake and Bake, baby. <laughs> now it's time to bake because we already woke. We got to use our prop blood. We got to use our the prop blood. blood. <laughs> Stay woke, niggas. <laughs> we out, man. Peace. Peace. <laughs> you got to use the prop blood, nigga. Please.